Following that break, there was a regrouping at the airstrip base camp. There were some new faces, including the host, USMC, of YouTube fame. Alright guys, earlier today we went out and did some recon on some of those uh, culverts. We found quite a fair few loads of the material that they used to carry the drugs. Here Huss prepares a report for his viewers. Greyhawk held a briefing for the new volunteers. Intelligence suggested some new areas to scout. Following the briefing, we mounted up and moved 14 miles east of the base camp. The search for signs of recent smuggling began in a culvert going under Interstate 8. The patrol soon spotted the first sign, an abandoned leather jacket. Haas and friend check in and learn of more sign. Haas finds a smuggler's jug and disables it. Uh, from what I understand, uh, intelligence has told us that uh, that it's mostly marijuana in large 50-pound bales that are hand-carried from the border all the way through the uh, Indian Reservation that's just south of here, and then they carry it up to the I-8 corridor. But they've also known to carry uh, uh, things like methamphetamines and cocaine and heroin in uh, smaller amounts than uh, that. But it's definitely coming through here. Uh, pretty much every drug known to man is coming through here. So. How is the contraband transported? Uh, from what I understand, what happens is the uh, cartel themselves, they either bring them up in large 300-pound uh, bales, sometimes on the back of uh, all-terrain vehicles, or the illegal aliens themselves as payment for uh, safe passage uh, up to the I-8. Uh, they carry the 50-pound bales themselves and the cartel uh, basically, that's how they pay the cartel for passage into the United States. So many of the illegals themselves are carrying uh, drugs across the border. A large pile of abandoned gear and trash has been found. The burlap bags are used for carrying contraband in the form of motha, cannabis, marijuana. Jesus, Haas reports this fine to his viewers. These bags have shoulder straps attached.
Obviously, we had found a busy transit point where contraband was unpacked. Trail clothes were exchanged for streetwear. Then contraband and contrabandistas would catch rides in on Interstate 8. Um, they're going to truck there and stuff. Well, my name's Moose. Uh, it recalls me the Desert Moose. The, uh, videos and pictures of stuff that you know we've we've uncovered you don't see on the news you don't uh you don't read about it in the papers you know, in the six six months we we know more about this area than you know the the government pretends they do you know, saying saying the border's safe and secure right now we're 80 miles north of the border I could drive across the highway, hike two miles up into the mountain, and uh, you'll run into cartel members. You know they've been invading our country all the way up to here, and you know this is this is where we drew the line and uh, fighting back and pushing them off. A lot of people don't understand that 80 miles north of the border, where we're sitting at, you know there's there's. Uh, armed cartels from Mexico coming across the border and will shoot you if they see you. Whether you want to believe it's a war or not, it is. It's, it's coming to a doorstep near you. Um, supporters of all kinds are welcome. If, if you make a donation of a quarter, you know, or a dollar, you know, you, you've done some justice for the cause. Something catches Greyhawk's eye. In this collection, there were 20 burlap bag backpacks that were used for carrying marijuana. Each bag will contain 20 to 30 kilograms of contraband, or possibly a total of 1,200 pounds of contraband. During a tire change, another transfer point is found near a culvert on the westbound side of Interstate 8. It is suspected that the smugglers came from the south through the culvert then unloaded contraband from trail packs and loaded it onto westbound vehicles. It had been decided that we set up again this evening at the first area we scouted. Now we are scouting other locations to make it more difficult for observers to determine the plan. 